Hey folks, my name is Ed Trevers. My pronouns are he, him, and his. I'm an Anglican priest serving in the beautiful parish of St. Margaret of Scotland that sits on the ancestral and on the unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq people. Gwe. Recently, somebody sent me a sermon from a gentleman, mm, a preacher in Arizona. I believe it's Arizona. And this, uh, this preacher, he, uh, he was going off about an encounter he had at a hardware store, the Ace Hardware Store to be exact, that's what he said. He said he, w he went in to pick up something, he was in, he, thankfully he was in alone, he said, because if his kids had been there, he might have gone off. He's standing in line, just, just standing in the checkout to, to pay for his goods and to leave. Then he goes off and starts talking about the person that was standing in front of him calling the person names, calling the person a freak. He says, but you know what? Maybe they're not a freak. Maybe they're just a really homely woman, a really ugly woman. But no, the person in front of him was a dude, he says. Then he goes back to calling the person a freak. He goes on to tell us that what really made him super angry was the way the cashier treated this freak courteously. There you go. Have a great day. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything else I can do for you? Wonderful. We'll see you soon. He said she, the cashier, made him angrier than the freak did. And when he got to the cashier, he was very curt, very short and to the point. Yep, nope, here, bye. It's an interesting, it's an interesting thing. It's an interesting thing we see in, in this story. Apart from the facts, it, fact that it should make our blood boil. It's, it's an interesting thing. Now, I'm going to say something, and I know full well that what I'm doing is exactly, or may appear to be exactly what I'm t saying we shouldn't do. See, I'm about to tell you that we shouldn't judge people, that we shouldn't judge people by their appearances, that what really matters is what's going on inside of them. You know, I'm about to, to tell you that we shouldn't kick down, that we should never make fun of people, that we should never condemn people, that we should never, that we should never criticize people based on their appearance. And yet here I am speaking about this pastor that I don't know anything about except I know an awful lot about this person. Not because we've ever met, but because of his speech. The Bible's really clear, right? The Bible is really, really clear that we are not to judge the quality of a person based on the way they appear to us. That God does not look at who we are on the outside, but rather God sees what's going on inside of us. God sees our heart. That what truly matters to God is how we treat the people around us and how we treat God. What truly matters to God is where our heart is and the desires of our heart and, 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 and the good things that we want to achieve, the peace we want to bring, the comfort we want to bring, the relationship we want to, to grow with our neighbors and with God. These are the most important things to God, hands down. Jesus speaks about this in other ways as well, where he's continuously saying, oh, so you don't sin, but we know what's going on inside your mind, and that's what matters. Right? Oh, you don't commit adultery, but I see you looking, and that's not okay either. Oh, you don't curse, but I know the words that you want to say. Right? This stuff matters. It's what's going on inside that, that matters. It's where our heart is. Right? This pastor knows nothing about the person in front of them. Nothing about the person in front of them. Doesn't know where that person comes from, doesn't know where that person's been, doesn't know where, what that person wants in life, doesn't know what experiences they may, have, they, may have, they may have had. Knows nothing except for the fact 
that this person doesn't look the way this preacher thinks they should. This preacher is actually laying on top of this person all of their expectations for them. And when that person fails to meet this preacher's expectations, well, this preacher takes it to the pulpit. And in the pulpit, this preacher condemns one of God's creation, one of God's children, condemns one of God's precious, condemns someone created in the image of God. What I found truly interesting and what told me so much about this person, this preacher, apart from the fact that they were ignorant to where God truly wants us to be looking, was how angry he was at the cashier. So you have the two people who had an interaction, and not that the preacher had an interaction with the person in front of them, but of the two people, only one of them actually acted like Jesus. It certainly wasn't the preacher, it was the cashier. The cashier treated the person across from them with dignity and with compassion and with civility. I mean, she did her job well and she made sure that the person who was in the checkout, who that they were serving, didn't feel any condemnation, didn't feel any kind of judgment, didn't feel any sort of undesired expectation. It was simply an interaction between two people and the cashier was very courteous. She treated this person like she would treat anyone. And that made the preacher furious. That made him angry. The love, the very base level love that she showed the person in front of this preacher made the preacher incredibly angry. As I said, I've never met this preacher. Don't know anything about this preacher. Never heard this preacher preach before. But I know his heart. I know his heart from his actions. I know his heart from his words. I know his heart from the story he himself offered. It angered him to see someone he didn't approve of, someone whose appearance he didn't approve of being treated with civility, compassion, and love, even on that base level, the, right? The cashier may have just been treating this person with the bare minimum you would treat anybody, and that made him angry. The cashier's bare minimum expression of love was too much for this preacher there's no love in this preacher. There's no Christ in this preacher. There's no Spirit of God in this preacher. We are not asked to make our decisions about the quality of a person based on how they appear to us. Most of us have had that happen to us in Anybody who has had that happen to them knows how much it hurts. God is clear. Christ is clear. God does not see what everybody else sees. That's not what God is looking for. What God sees is what's going on the inside. What God views to be quality, the, where God finds value is what's going on on the inside. The purity of our heart as seen through our love, the purity of our heart as seen, for our as seen by our compassion and by our mercy and by our desire to lift people up instead of putting them down. This is the call in our lives. This is the call, the Christian call in our life is to, is to be people of love, to be people who follow God, 
in that we don't look at what's going on on the outside of a person. We don't make our decisions about the quality of a person based on how they appear to us, but rather the quality of their heart. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face be made to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord's countenance be lifted up to you. May you always know the peace of being in the Lord's presence. And I pray that we would reject the way of this pastor and be more like the cashier. That we would offer our love to people, regardless of how we feel about their appearance. That we would offer civility and compassion and mercy. That we would offer our hand in service to everyone, regardless of how we feel about their appearance. Remember, we don't know where they've been, what they've been through. We don't know where they've come from. We don't know where they want to go. But we know what our call is, and that is to love. Amen. Demoltus.